Welcome to Location, a Locator News web edition delivering top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Kelsey Gastrava. And I'm Justin Sillner. Here's your news now. Students are preparing for the Relay for Life event on March 20th. This will be the first time the event will be held on Cabrini's campus. Relay for Life is an event that raises funds and awareness for the American Cancer Society. The event is overnight and participants will walk to raise money. For more information on how to start a team or donate, visit www.relayforlife.org slash PA Cabrini. Flatworldknowledge.com has become a recommended website to Cabrini students in saving money on textbooks in subject areas such as economics, business, science, and mathematics. Assistant professors of business administration at Cabrini, Dr. Eric Malm and Dr. Lisa Delgado use the site to offer same lessons to classes without students having to buy the textbooks. The site has 480 courses and 40,000 students taking advantage of the savings. The sixth annual St. Jude Children's Research Hospital Benefit Dinner at Cabrini College was held on February 12th. Proceeds from the event will benefit St. Jude's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee, and will help ensure that the hospital can continue providing children with the affordable cancer treatments they've been given in the past. Up until two years ago, the Cabrini Up Till Dawn Club used to coordinate the event, but now staff members like Diversities Initiatives Coordinator Melissa Waters and Chef Rodney from Cabrini's Cafeteria have taken over the event. Catholic Relief Services, Cabrini College, and St. Joseph's University joined together to rally for immigration reform on February 16th. Let's take a look at how these students made a difference. <laughs> students from St. Joseph's University and Cabrini College recently joined together to get one common goal across. This is an immigration rally where basically we've, for the past couple of weeks we've been having people sign across campus for immigration reform under uh, Justice for Immigrants. We're asking students on campus to fill out these postcards to their senators to ask them to bring the topic to Congress so that we can get reforms passed such as keeping families together. This is the perfect time now that the health care debates have kind of come to an end. It's time to be taking charge and finding reform and what's needed through migration. You know, the immigration system needs to be fixed and this is a way for a group of people to be able to actively fix it and voice our opinions. The students may have taken some big steps with their immigration rally, but there is still much work to be done for immigration reform. This is Jake Veterano on location. And now let's see what's up with the dirt sheet with Jake and Gianna. What's up all you stars and studs, I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Chicatino, and welcome to The Dirt Sheet, where we give you the latest in entertainment. Kesha posted a video of herself and friends climbing up to the Hollywood sign in LA. They threw a tarp over it that said, Kesha Wood. Fortunately, sources have told us that the entire video appears to be fake. Shouldn't Kesha be more concerned with things like showering? Yes, she should. Valentine's Day was number one at the box office this weekend. The star-studded film was filled with romance, sex, and love. Well, I'm sure glad I'm not single. Mm. The new We Are The World song debuted at the Olympics. While the singer's hearts are in the right place, the song is pure crap. Seriously, what idiot thought to put a ghetto rap by LL Cool J in the middle of the song thinking it would be a good idea? We use the term song loosely. Don't forget to stop by the Holy Spirit Library to check out the art exhibit, The Religious Mind, where students can see some religious-themed art by Andrew Newberg. Well, amen to that. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Veterano. The Glamazon. You know, Gianna, I'm sure hungry, and the marketplace is packed. Let's find out why. Mm-hmm. Ever confused about what to get when you go to the marketplace? Well, that was certainly the question for many students dining in the marketplace on February 15th as the marketplace hosted its annual Chef Fair cook-off. Chefs came in from local colleges in the area to prepare some of their finest cuisines. And in the end, students voted for which dish they liked best. You know, I really liked it. I don't usually eat much maybe like once a week. But when I do eat, I really just like to rub in and eat as much as I can, you know? That about does it here for me. This is making my mouth water. This is Jake Veterano on location. Now let's check in with Liz for your weather. 
Hey everyone, I'm Liz Gopaletti and I'm here to give your weather forecast for the next few days. Thursday, partly cloudy skies with highs in the upper 30s and lows in the 20s. Friday, very similar to Thursday with partly cloudy skies and temperatures staying in the 30s. Saturday, mostly sunny with highs once again in the 30s and lows in the 20s. And to end your weekend, sunny skies on Sunday with highs in the 30s and lows in the 20s. That's all I have for you today. Back to you at the news desk. And here's your news from around the world. In a controversial statement, the head of the climate research at East Anglia University said there has been no statistically significant warming in the past 15 years. He also stated that there have been two periods with a similar warming, from 1910 to 1940 and from 1975 to 1998, but they have been proven to have a naturally happening phenomena. He also has suggested that the global warming may not be a man-made phenomenon. On February 16th, U.S. troops have arrested Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, one of the Taliban's top military leaders in assault on the Karachi in northern Pakistan. The G7, a meeting of the finance ministers of seven industrialized nations, pledged to cancel the debt of Haiti after its devastating earthquake on January 12th. In June of 2009, they canceled $1.2 billion of debt and are now fighting off another $900 billion. United Kingdom Prime Minister Gordon Brown said, it must be right that a nation buried in rubble must not also be buried in debt. Now I'll check in with Nick for your two-minute drill. What's going on all you sports fans? Nick Goulden here with your two-minute drill. The 21st Winter Olympics, which are taking place in Vancouver, began last Friday. As of day two, the United States had the most medals. Apollo Anton Ono won his sixth medal in the 1500 meter final last Saturday. He is now tied with Bonnie Blair as the most decorated winter athlete from the U.S. Hannah Kearney dominated in the Moguls final to award the U.S. its first gold medal in these Olympics. The Cabrini men's basketball team is officially ranked 22nd out of all Division III schools across the nation, according to D3Hoops.com. This is Cabrini's first national ranking since the final poll of the 2001-2002 season. Also, Kevin Misavicious became the 14th player to reach 1,000 points in the program's history. Congratulations, Kevin. And now let's catch up on this week's Game of the Week, featuring your nationally ranked Cavaliers who took on Immaculata. Freshman Corey Lemon showed off his stuff early, going 8 for 15 from the floor. But Immaculata was there to answer the bell, and at halftime they led Cabrini 35 to 29. In the second half, the mighty Max took a 60 to 55 lead with just under five minutes remaining, with a deep three followed by a layup. But the Corey Lemon show was just getting started. The Cavs stormed back with an 8-2 run, capped by Lemon's layup to take the lead for good. With under 20 seconds to go, the freshman had ice in his veins as he went 4-4 four four from the foul line and gave Cabrini a three-point lead. Immaculata had one last chance to tie with a three, but it goes off the rim, and the Cavaliers hold on to a win of 73-70. That's all I have for you guys this week. Tune in next week for more sports coverage. Thanks for watching this week's Web Edition. Tune in next week for another great episode. I'm Justin Silner. And I'm Kelsey Castrava. Thanks for watching.